You're watching Let's Chat. It's always so much fun when the Chattanooga Zoo stops by. The best interviews. Today we have a very special guest with us, other than our special guest, Jake Cash of and course. Will Turns for Thanks. the zoo. We have a little friend here. What's his name? His name is Loki, actually. Loki. Loki, like me, Loki. Yeah, Loki. exactly. Or like the Norse mythology character. He is a oh. giant Aldabra tortoise. We have others named Thor and Asgard and things wow. like that. So we, I think we have four giant Aldabra tortoises mm -hmm. at the zoo. That's right. He's only nine years old. Wow, the, I would have so. guessed he was 50 or something. Only nine, <laughs> and look how big he is. I, we need some sort of perspective. So while that camera's on him, you can see how big he is compared to my, my pretty feet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's a yeah, big Yeah, well he turtle. has a lot of room to grow too. They can live up to 150. Oh. Uh, Will is their keeper, he can tell you more about that. Yeah, tell us Will, and what are we promoting today? Uh, so we are promoting the Q and Brew event, and what's kind of special about it, outside of the beer and the barbecue and all the amazing food and festivities, is every year we kind of do a tortoise race, that's sort of a tradition, and Loki here is part of the uh, largest weight class of those races. Amazing. So we kind of have large, medium, and small He's tortoise over here. races. Look at we'll this. see if he'll come over. Uh, he is known to, he's a little nervous because he's on the news. But <laughs> Oh, it's, it's but, easy, Loki. Oh. What a sweet animal. Now, I know I had asked, um, can he bite? Should we be nervous about our feet? Oh, I wouldn't legs. worry about them. Okay. But any animal that has a mouth that can bite, but I wouldn't worry about these Aldabra giant tortoises. They're strictly vegan. They like to eat lots of greens, apples, obviously, as you can see. And I think we'll get some more from him. The tortoise races are a lot of fun. We actually have three different weight classes. So we do several different races with lots of different species of tortoise. Will, what are some of the different species again? Uh, so we'll be having the Aldabra giant tortoise, radiated tortoises, red-footed tortoises, uh, the box turtle kind of representing Tennessee, our, our local kind of hero. We're hoping box <laughs> turtle will get some good results as well. Are they uh, racing against each other, all these species? Yes, so they are racing in little like, ooh, there you go, in little slots and we will be rewarding them with uh, oh. strawberries, fruit, vegetables, um, all sorts of kind of rewards at the end and little incentives to get them going throughout the race. Now, what is your favorite part about what you do? Her you're a herpetologist. What does that mean mm -hmm. and what do you love about it? Uh, it is the study okay, of reptiles freeze. and amphibians, I guess, and their husbandry. And I'd say my favorite thing about it... scratching it, does it feel that? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I want to hear you. Does it, does it yes. have nerves in its shell? Yeah. So okay. it's, it's the same as if you were touching like someone's nails or something. Oh. So it's like they can kind of feel it. Okay. But they do appreciate the scratches. So you were uh. describing what you do. What's your favorite part about these animals? Are they, are they communicative? You know, are they like a dog? Do they respond like... I, I would say that they... So there's a lot going on in those minds, but they don't um, wear their heart on their sleeve maybe like mammals do. So it's oh, a little I bit see. harder to know what's truly going on in that mind of theirs. Wow. So we have things like Komodo dragons who, um, for all intents and purposes, they appear to like to get, you know, scratches. We have a long brush oh. on the end of a stick. And it seems like, you know, he either, yeah, sometimes he stays put and just kind of puts his head up. So closest thing we'll get to like a dog saying you like scratches is like a Komodo kind of just staying still. So right. You kind of have to use a little bit of intuition to figure out what they want. So the Q and Brew also has the tortoise race. Yeah, we'll do the tortoise race and we'll do a lot of other animal meet and greets with our ambassador okay. animals. Pretty much all of our events, you'll have keepers with different ambassador animals. So snakes, rabbits, a bearded dragon, a screech owl, a lot of different oh. animals scattered throughout the zoo where you can go and get up close with them. You get to touch some of them, so that's really fun. Um, all tickets come with two drink tickets as well, so you can come and enjoy beer from Tailgate Brewery. And then we have several really great barbecue vendors as well, like Sticky Fingers, Soul Q, uh, Smash Boys, and then some other really fun oh, okay. local Yummy food. Burgers. Yeah, so absolutely. where is this one's habitat in the world? So it's not a very big habitat, but they are from the Seychelles off the coast oh, of Madagascar. Yes. On just like a couple islands. The, the main one, they're named after Aldabra Atoll, which is kind of a place where they're like bustling in have like massive populations, but the populations have kind of waned on other islands. But you would be surprised, um, these are actually kind of island hopping tortoises. They don't look like sea turtles, they're not quite as agile as them, but they do sometimes swim between islands in a pinch if right. they need to. Uh, they kind of bob awkwardly in the water and you know those arms aren't 
really ideal for uh, swimming through the water, but they get it done, and sometimes they just got to go to a different island. It is know? really cute, and the shape of it reminds me of Mario Brothers Turtles, like that higher <laughs> arch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is kind of like, where are you is going? Is he protected? Is he a protected species? Or um, they, yes, yeah. yes. That's and they wonderful. are wonderful. We have one. Yes. They, they were all hatched at Oklahoma City Zoo, and then we ended up kind of taking them in when they were really little. Look how curious uh -huh. he is. What a sweet animal. And they've been growing rapidly uh, ever since. Pretty much every like few months, we have to up their diet to, uh, you know, maintain their voracious growth and does all that. he take what is he uh are they gentle or would he get into things and maybe bite into cords and things like that or is he more of their no role? he's just kind of more exploratory and okay, then that's like kind it. of a younger tortoise thing once Aww. they get older they kind of just like to sit in a mud pit and do nothing that's kind of the move once they you know <laughs> get into their, like, their 40s or 50s. Well, I really enjoyed this interview. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's always a pleasure. Nice yeah. to meet you, and nice thank you for too. bringing this. And what you do of protecting and, you know, keeping these animals alive and safe. So tell us one more time, Q Brew, give us all the details. Yeah, Q and Brew, great beer, barbecue, live music with Blue-tastic fangrass, animal meet and greets, giraffe feedings, basically the best day of the summer. Jay, so just the, come out, check it out. We 